Hey guys, welcome back to another haul. Today we have Costco, a little bit of Sam's, but something super, super special from Costco that I will cut to in just a minute. Uh, we bought a lot of large purchases today. We got a new rug for the living room and a gaming chair for Andres. And so those two things alone were $350 of this total budget. So those things aside, household and grocery, we ended up spending right around $700 for everything you see here. That $700 does actually include a few things for my grandma, my aunt, and some baby wipes for my mom <laughs> that she keeps at her house. So that of the 700 was probably about 100 or 120 of what we actually spent. So, you know, give or take. We actually spent a right around $1,100, but again, taking out those two large items and the things that I bought for my family members, our total was somewhere between six and 700. I'd have to break it down. So not too, too bad. I just got done spending 400 and some odd dollars at the grocery store, 450 I think, at the regular grocery store, but these are the bulky things that we needed for snacks, lunch for the lunches for the girls, and stuff for myself and for Andres. We've been doing really well with trying to eat better. I just got back from the gym. That's why, I mean, I look like this normally, but that's why I look like this. And yeah, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So this is the item that we got. The company was so awesome to reach out to me and offer the TV um, for me to review. So we had been, we have a TV upstairs. We had one that we've had for many, many years. Like, I think we got it right around the time that we first got Emmy. So we've had it about 10 years, 10 and a half years now. Oh, a little longer than that, actually, a long time. And it works okay, but the coloring was off, and um, Andres recently got a PS5. I got that for him for Christmas, and so it just really wasn't doing it any justice. And when the company reached out to send this TV, uh, of course I couldn't turn it down. So I'm so excited. You can get this brand a few different places. Um, this size in particular is sold at Costco, which was, is one of my favorite places to shop. Uh, I did, I have seen this at the Costco that I was at today. They didn't have this exact size, but I'm sure the other one had this size. I will link it down below for you guys. It is the Hisson 65 inch U6 GR5 4K ULED LCD TV. I can't wait to get this plugged in and show you what it looks like. So as you can see here, we have it mounted up on our wall. It fits perfectly onto the mount that we previously had. Um, Andres is playing Call of Duty right now on the PS5 and the picture quality is amazing. The 4K really makes all the characters and all of their details stand out. I'm super impressed by the quality of it and the ease and how thin it is to actually hang up on the wall. Andres was able to mount it by himself without any problems. You can see here when you turn off the light, the coloring is even better. That high definition really, really pops. I love the Roku TVs. If you've never had one, they're super easy to use. You can download all of the apps. So we have uh, Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus. We have uh, our cable app on there and all the things to where we can just easily watch all of our shows from the TV in the bedroom. It has Dolby Vision. It works with Apple AirPlay. So you can even download the YouTube app onto your phone and play it onto the big screen. It also works with Google and Alexa, which is super cool. Overall, very impressed with the quality of everything and the ease of use. As you can tell, Andres really likes it as well. He's super impressed with it. So definitely would recommend this TV brand. Thank you again so much to Hisense for reaching out to me and providing us with this TV for review. Luckily, Andres was able to go with me because if he hadn't, I was going to try and tackle these two things on my own today. I We probably would not have ended up with half of what we actually got because he did so much of the heavy lifting. He's getting ready for work right now, which stinks, but you know, it is what it is. So here I tried to separate from Sam's and Costco, so I'll do quick the Sam's haul. So they had the Dole Cups with the gel. So it's kind of like Jello with the fruit in it. So I got this pack for the girls. They like to take those for lunch. Keep in mind, if you're new here, I have four girls ranging from 2 to 12. And 
they all take lunch to school and snacks. So we have a lot of snacky things, a lot of prepackaged quick things for them to take to school. I had a lot in the pantry, but I didn't have a lot of cold stuff. So that's kind of what we stocked up on today. Running low on the Capri Sun, so I picked up those for them. Uh, some overnight pads, if you know, you know. The Clorox toilet wand refills. I love these things. They, of course, it's much cheaper to have a reusable wand and to use like, you know, Clorox gel, which we have that too. But these are really nice for just like quick cleanups in between. So I picked up those. Uh, their chicken was by far cheaper than H-E-B, $1.99 a pound. So I did pick up one pack. This is six pounds. This will be good, honestly, for probably three meals for us. I'll probably use two to three large breasts for whatever meal I'm doing, which is a great price. So I picked up that. A big thing of tomato sauce. This is cheaper than I can get it at H-E-B. So I did pick up some petite to uh, tomatoes at, or diced tomatoes at H-E-B the other day, but the tomato sauce wasn't cheaper. So I picked it up here. The Chobani Flips, the girls love these for snacks at school, and they were on sale for nine something or ten bucks. So it comes with 12, and they're going to be so excited. Whenever I actually go to Sam's Club, my grandma likes the Truvia, so she can get this so much cheaper at Sam's, and her friend Ralph hasn't been doing that great, so if you could say a little prayer for him, uh, she's been staying at home with him. So this is $13 for 400 packs of the Truvia. At H-E-B, it's like 15 bucks for 200 packs. So I picked up two boxes of those. Some of the seasoned croutons, a bag of the Asian chopped salad, some uh, all beef ballpark hot dogs. I'll just stick this in the freezer and it'll be good probably for three meals for us, which is pretty good. And I have a bunch of hot dog buns in the freezer, so that'll work out for a quick dinner one night. My grandma also requested the crispy chicken strips uh, from Tyson. She got an air fryer for Christmas, so she's so excited to try it out. So I picked those up for her. Some turkey bacon. Everyone likes turkey bacon here. These are new. I've never seen these before. They probably have had them. I don't shop at Sam's super frequently. The cinnamon French toast sticks. There are 50 in them in there, and they're only $7. So I picked those up for the girls. And then some of the waffle fries. Uh, actual carrots, because I picked up the one, the kind that you peel and can cut up yourself, like the large regular carrots, not the baby carrots. And when I asked Andres to peel them, Either I said or he thought I said to shred. And so now we have a humongous container of five pounds worth of shredded carrot, which is fine for salads and stuff, but I really wanted the baby carrots for snacking. So I picked up a bag of those. Plus this is easier for the girls to take. We needed a mustard for our couponing shelf. We already finished a whole gallon of milk, so I picked up another one. Um, Andres loves this hot chocolate, so it came with 12 tablets. It was only four bucks at Sam's, so we picked up that. And ketchup for the couponing shelf. Again, I picked up some shrimp, but they're the extra small ones, and so they cook down really tiny, so I picked up the bag of three pound large raw shrimp, already tail off and everything. And then you guys know Andres, whenever he's with me, always likes to pick up his favorite stuff. So he got some chimichangas. These are his favorite. We don't go to uh, Sam's very frequently, so he picked up two. Is that all I have over here? Yep, that's all I have. So moving over here, Costco. Huh? I was waiting for this rug to go back on sale. I had regretted not picking it up at the last time, the last couple of times that we were there. They were $100 off, so it's normally $300. It was $199 today, which I think it'll match very nicely with our current decor. It's a huge fluffy rug, so I'm very excited for that. So that was a big bulk of what we paid for today. The gaming chair was on sale, but it was still $100 in, it was either $129 or $139. Um, I don't know much about gaming chairs respond mm, I don't know <laughs> but that's the one that he chose so that's what we brought home toilet paper same thing I haven't had to buy toilet paper in a long time and I hadn't been couponing for it I've been doing mostly laundry detergent when I do quick like CVS trips but I need to go back to couponing toilet paper and paper towels because this thing was like $24 for that big old thing of toilet paper it will last us a little while though so picked up that. Um, I just bought berries. Yeah, they're already gone. They go quick in our house. So I got another thing of raspberries, another thing of strawberries. Uh, I picked up a thing of strawberries for my grandma and I got blackberries for us because they looked delicious. 
so good big and juicy and then I picked up some blueberries for my grandma she needed those as well I got uh, actual like frozen blueberries for us for smoothies and the rest wanted some like pre-minced garlic instead of the fresh stuff so we got that cheese it snap same thing I bought three small bags because they were on sale at H-E-B the other day this was three dollars for the ginormous bag so I picked up another one the girls really like these for snacks for school some more fruit cups so we have the cherry mixed fruit and the mandarin oranges i got those from costco the baked chips were on sale always nice to have some baked chips i wasn't planning on buying any um like chips or any granola bars but you know they're there <laughs> they were on sale for like seven or eight dollars so i picked them up some jalapenos for andres and some peanuts for snacking for the girls for school Ziploc bags were on sale for $9 or something, and we use the sandwich ones. We try and use reusable containers, but we tend to use the sandwich ones most frequently whenever we're doing lunches for the girls. Um, some feta cheese. I should have got this from Sam's because it was cheaper, but that's okay. So for salads. And then two things of the rotisserie uh, hand-pulled chicken for Nin. She loves that, so I picked up two of those for her. Chicken and apple sausage for us here at the house. I was completely out of sausage, so trying to bulk the freezer back up again. Vitamin C was on sale. Oh, these aren't chewable. Bummer! <laughs> I thought I got the chewable ones. No! Darn. Yeah, the girls, we had been cutting them there, and I should, the, I think the chewable ones are 500 milligrams. Darn it. Okay, well. There's that. We have, how many is this? 500? 500. Whoa. And the little girls are for sure not going to be able to take that. So I may go exchange it at some point. I thought I got the chewable ones. Anyway, vitamin C. Got to keep a healthy immune system, especially right now. Some bacon crumbles. Uh, the Jimmy Dean biscuit sausage or sausage biscuits. They're 32. They're snack size sandwiches. So they're a little bit smaller. Perfect for on the go for breakfast for the girls. So we picked up a big thing of those. I was looking for the Jimmy Dean turkey and egg white uh, sandwiches, but they, I couldn't find them at either place. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, smoked pulled pork. We love this for a quick dinner. Some of the Duke's original recipe sausages. These were on sale. I've never had these before. They're egg wraps, but I've heard they're really good. 30 calories a piece. You could make anything you would put a, you know, a tortilla with. You could use this. So... I'm curious to see if these are really good. So I picked up one. The holy guacamole, like little tubs of guac were on sale. So I picked up one. These actually freeze really nicely if you've never tried it before. It's really good to just be able to crack it. I did buy avocados from the store, which I like too. But this is nice to just have. Uh, some of the panko breaded or panko, however you say it. Chicken breast nuggets. The girls love these. So we picked up a bag of those. The um, tortilla crusted tilapia, that's so good if you ha guys haven't tried it. Unfortunately, it is one meal for us because we've gotten so big and everyone likes it. But, and it's 16 or $17. So fish can be pretty pricey for us in this family, but it's so good and worth it. These Cambro, Cambro um, containers, they're six quarts. They look like this. You guys have seen them before. I've hauled them and uh, you've seen my sugar flour uh, oatmeal, potatoes, rice, beans, and I have them on my couponing shelf out there. I picked up six, so three more packs. They're two, two for nine fifty. I picked them up for Girl Scouts because when we were baking a couple of weeks ago, we bought the huge things of flour and sugar, and we didn't use it all. So I have nowhere to put it. So I bought this. It belongs to the troop. And now whenever we need to bake, um, we'll have something that'll stay good for a long time. And we bake frequently. So that'll be good. What else here? Um, the I usually buy more of these when they were on when they're on sale. So I may go back and get some more if I return that vitamin C. But the children's Kirkland brand gummy vitamins, we go through seven a day. Seven. Because the three big girls take two each and Everly has started taking one. If your kiddo's over two, I would recommend some sort of um, either gummy vitamin. Of course, if they'll take a regular vitamin, that's even better for them. So we go through these pretty fast. Yeah, so another one. Um, the brown rice was on sale. Normally, I don't like buying single servings of stuff like this because it is kind of expensive. 
But for the convenience of being at work, I don't have a lot of time to meal prep all the time. I like to have quicker things because it's easier for me to count and not have to worry about it. I'm watching my calorie intake, so this is just brown rice, and I usually do half, so it'll give me 12 meals, which is really good. And it was on sale. Uh, some of the non bread, we use these for little mini pizzas. Some of the pomegranates, the girls love pomegranates, but it's such a pain in the butt. These were on sale too. Such a pain in the butt to peel them. And no matter how many easy tricks I've tried, they never come out right. So I picked up the one that was already pre, pre cut out. These almond flour crackers we got last time. They're so good if you've never tried them. So we picked them up again. This uh, quinoa and brown rice with garlic, also the pouches quick, like you can microwave them, uh, were on sale as well. So those will be good dinners for at home and things like that. Um, Andres saw the oatmeal squares, brown sugar. He wanted to try that. I've never heard of those, so we'll see if those are good. He also wanted some roasted red, pe red pepper hummus. So we picked that up. These spinach egg white frittatas, yum. So good. They're only 70 calories per little egg bite so I usually can eat two with one piece of toast and I am stuffed they're really really good they're gluten-free they have low net carbs really good so yeah I picked up those there are 20 in there as well the girls don't love them so they'll last me a while uh, we picked up another thing of Krusty's buttermilk pancake mix I have some of the uh, what is the other one the protein pancake mix but I picked up this for the girls some Skinny Pop, it was on sale. Uh, some nuts, I have pecans and almond slivers. So I picked up walnut, uh, walnuts, walnuts. Some of the shredded Cheddar Jack cheese, I'll put one in the fridge and one in the freezer. It freezes and thaws out really nicely. Pepperoni, same thing. We'll put one thing in the fridge for the girls to snack on for school. And the other one will go in the freezer and that'll last us a really long time. The girls needed little snacky, uh, you know, um, what am I thinking of? Dairy products for their snacks for schools and for lunch, for snacks and, oh my gosh, for snack and for school lunch. So I got the little Tillamook medium cheddar. They liked those last time. Some of the turkey sausage link for breakfast for me. This is a good alternative to go with like one of these, one of those, instead of doing two of those. Some of the Sliced cheese comes with Colby, Colby Jack and Monterey Jack for sandwiches. And then the Danimals were on sale. The girls love these. Totally empty calories. They have no nutritional value, but they love them. So we picked one up. Uh, baby wipes. We picked up three. Two of them are still in the car because there's no point in bringing them inside when one belonged to us and two belonged to my mom. So they were on sale, which is cool. I think they were like $16. The girls take cup of noodles like once a week in their lunch. And so this was a 30 pack, which I thought was a really good deal. So that'll go on the couponing shelf. Paper towels, always using those. We were down to the last few little individual packs. So I picked up another one. Kleenex, we have not had to buy Kleenex in like before the pandemic. <laughs> We've had it for that long. So I picked up another one. It has, I thought this one had 12 boxes, 10 boxes in it, the large boxes. And we've had sniffles around here galore. So it definitely is going to be a good thing. And then last but not least, diapers. I am so hoping that is our last box of diapers because that thing is $43 for that. So here's hoping. Fingers crossed. So yeah, not a lot. It's always a ton of money when you go to a big bulk store like that. Not a lot of physical items, but you know, 10 and $12 for each of them adds up really quickly. So there's six to $700 worth of stuff minus the chair and the rug. So yeah, special shout out to Hisense once again for sponsoring and allowing me to try out their new TV. I'm so excited to be able to give it a go. I already did a little bit of watching on it last night and it looks, the picture is chef's kiss so awesome andres has been loving playing his ps5 on it it's been so cool to have a new tv after 10 years in our room so thank you guys y'all are the real mvp don't forget to check out the brand of tvs it is a roku tv at costco they do have different sizes so you don't have to get that big of a size but i'm so blessed that they reached out and wanted to send me anything i, I tell you guys all the time i don't accept any type of 
product or sponsorship unless I for sure would use it or purchase it myself and that's definitely something that would have been on my list. We just never made it a priority to buy a new TV in our room but we would have <laughs> and that is where the company came in so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul let me know what you thought in the comments below we'll see you in the next one bye